a few weeks back, we got this leak, or announcement of sorts, as you can see. This announced that the Spirit Factory exploded, and that multiple props would be scrapped and not being made until the 30th. So, I made a video debunking that quite a while back, but today I will be examining why in that video I might have been wrong. Firstly, I would like to address some reasons why I might have been wrong in that video, and some reasons why this could actually be real. Firstly, the reason it was so unprofessionally worded is that it was posted by someone at corporate. Now, albeit, my point still stands. I think they should definitely word these announcements better, because that was a very weird delivery. However, it at least explains the unprofessionalness, if that's even a word. The next thing I'd like to cover is that this wasn't on the news. But that's also because this might not have been a very eventful explosion. In fact, it might have just been a fire. And, plus, probably not even that a big factory. If no one was harmed, and it was nothing of note, why would it be on the news? So, th those are some of the reasons that I think this might be f real. But there are a few others, and I'll get into those. It's safe to say lots of people want Pumpkin Nestor to return for 2022. Everybody thought he would, but he didn't. And I don't think that's just because of laziness. Now, from this comment here, from Crashy, or C-R-4-S-H-Y, whatever your pronunciation is, I know you watch the channel. They claim that Pumpkin Nestor was supposed to return, and he was supposed to be in Barry's place in the themes, but he got cancelled for some reason, which I'm pretty sure you can all assume what it is. Now, because of this, they just replaced him with Barry, which, even with this explanation, they could have... Barry's not an amazing prop. They could have just used a different prop to, you know, like, bloody bag of jokes, but whatever. The point is, something came up and Pumpkin Master couldn't be produced. Now, of course, this couldn't be... this could be fake. They could be lying. But they have said information that did come true in the past. So, I'll believe them for the benefit of the doubt. However, I do have more things to prove that they're correct. Firstly, if you look at the company that Pumpkin Nestor is made by, he is produced by Yujun, also known as YJ. Now, one thing I want to tell you is think about all the YJ props released. And if you do... You should come up with Void. No YJ props were produced this year. So, you might think that that might be, you know, an incorrect thing, but YJ makes tabletops as well, so maybe they just didn't produce any animatronics. Here's the spiky sidestepper. He is made by YJ, at least in 2021. Now here's the slim sidestepper. He looks very similar and he's from the same license, Killer Clown from Outer Space. He is made by Sound and Light. Now, if we look at all the animatronics Sound and Light has produced, there aren't many. And that's because they're definitely a recent partnership with Spirit. And I do find this very interesting to consider, because the other animatronics Sound and Light produced was the Tombstone Terror. Everybody hates this guy because they feel he's rushed, and it's just a dollar store skull. And I'd like to say that might actually be what happened. That Tombstone Terror was a rushed prop. Now, I'm just throwing random things disjointed at you. Like, how does this relate to the factory explosion? Well, I believe that this factory or shipping warehouse, whatever it was, belonged to to YJ. In this previous video, I mentioned that there isn't a single Spirit Halloween factory. There are the ones for the different companies, and this still aligns with that point, because it very well could have been the YJ factory that exploded. So, 
exploded or caught fire, you know, I think either one still works. So, moral of the story, the baseline, the bottom line, no YJ props were produced this year. The ones that would have been produced by YJ are all made by sound and light. So, I mean, there we have it. This could be fake. This could be, you know, maybe I'm just being completely useless here, not saying anything that's real. But I don't know. I think there are too many uncanny coincidences lining up. So, tell me what you think about this in the comments below. As always, like and subscribe if you're new. I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.